Hi, this is your boy Barry. I'm coming at you live. Wanted to have a quick chat with my, all my peeps out here in the land. You know what I'm saying? On a more casual basis. Cover a couple of things. The other day I, I, I got to experience some family behavior that makes you less than proud of them, but nonetheless you're still related. You know, sometimes you just want to take, revoke uh, a person's privilege of being, you know, human for a couple of weeks or a couple of days so they could appreciate the experience more and understand uh, how it feels on another end of the stick from where they're coming from. Perhaps make them like, say, like, you know what, you're going to have to be a cat for three weeks and then you can come back. I'm not talking about a lion or a tiger, a ferocious cat, but I'm talking about a cat where you, uh, your survival and your comfort level mainly depends on someone else being there for you. That, for instance. And I was like, oh, man, shooks, I hope we don't have to go through this again, family. Just relax. Relax. People get too intense got to learn to relax and in that relaxation you you also have to be authentic you got to be the real you flip-flopping back and forth behaving a certain way you know that's that's shaky at best but the main thing is when you're out here you're you're participating in functions and events it is good to at least act within a civil range of behavior because you never know who's watching you. You never know. You never know whose life you might influence or affect by the way you're behaving. So that's why it's always a good thing to be consistent in your behavior. I would say a good 80 to 90% of the time because you can't be perfect. You know, but hey, for me, for instance, I'm consistent when it comes to the professional side, and and the people that's close to me, they know I like to joke. That's that's what we do. We like, oh yeah, poke fun at each other and have a little fun, because during the week, it's about focus. Sometimes you inc can incorporate. You know, your sense of humor into whatever situation that you have in communicating or connecting with a potential client or prospect to that extent. But also you have to be consistent in your demeanor and what you're focused on. Because that's what's going to give you results and that's what's going to assist others in making that distinction as you're a person that is serious, intently committed to your business and assisting them and once you're able to convey that to the person in front of you the higher your chances are that they'll be willing to get involved in business with you now I've spent a lot of money uh, learning from other people that are creating great wealth why? why would I spend my time and efforts and money on that? because when it boils down to it, the return on your investment in yourself is infinite. I have a college degree. Yes, that's fine. It got me jobs and it got me nice pay. But it really never got me to that level where I felt this is where I was meant to be. It got me to a level where someone else felt that is where I wanted to be. But it really was that wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. I tried corporate America, the whole job thing, and I decided if I'm going to do something, it has to be entrepreneurship. And I had this fascination with real estate, so I ended up becoming a real estate appraiser back in 1995. And throughout those years, it has created a comfortable life for me. However, it's reached a stage in my life where it's like, okay, that's no longer serving me. The politicians got involved. They had so many renegade appraisers out there just crunching numbers for people to create this bad paper. 
all that bad paper out there uh, that <clears throat> it had a serious backlash on the industry. And anyone that's a real estate appraiser can attest to it, or anyone that's involved in real estate outside of the aspects of being a major purchaser with a cash uh, position will tell you. Because the real estate, it, when, when uh, all this hit the fan, you you have the your appraisers, and then you have your realtors that marketed the services, and then you have your title companies that did the closings, and that was a lot of a lot of households and incomes affected. So if you don't position and reposition yourself, changes in certain industries can wipe you out unless you figure something else out. And that's what I've taken the time to do over the past couple of years uh, as the I've seen my, my real estate appraisal assignments <laughs> dwindle away to virtually nothing, that it was time to reposition, re-educate, and redevelop myself and my skills to another point where I can generate the type of income, the type of lifestyle that I know I truly desire and I deserve. So, with that being said, what I want to do is invite you to come on out with me and enjoy the opportunity to have time freedom, money freedom, and the freedom to be yourself. See, the great thing about the industry I'm in right now is that it's freedom makes of expression to the highest extent because you get to be you you get to be you I get to be me you get to be you we all work together as a team to support the expressiveness of another individual on the team we're a team we're bu team builders and we invite you to become part of our team See you on the other side. Peace for now.